What's up everybody? Welcome to Claiming Christianity. Today we're going to be taking a look at these and look at the difference in size here. Uh, these are New Living Translation filament enabled Bibles put out by Tyndale. They're both giant print. This one is giant print but it's personal size. This one is super giant print and it is really really big. For those of you who need uh, some extra font size to help you see uh, see well 16 point font so we're going to take a look at these on the table and review them for you i said this in one of the last videos because we went through uh the wide margin journaling edition bible and tyndale's really working hard to put out quality resources for you all based on your needs for a bible so i have a bunch of different reviews on different sized uh, nlts that are out there right now with wide margins or super big font or zippers all kinds of stuff and so i'm really looking forward to showing you these before we jump over to the table if you're new here welcome my name is steve while you're here you're going to be encouraged and equipped to be the christians you claim to be we're going to do that by going through scripture and reviewing solid tools and resources to help make your day-to-day -day better and more christ focused if that sounds like something you're interested in consider subscribing and let's get into it all right, so let's take a look at these giant print Bibles. And it sounds funny, huh? Because they're both giant print. This one is super giant print. This one is giant print. Just last week, you guys saw me review the wide margin, the NLT wide margin Bible. And I said it before, and I'm going to say it again. Tyndale is really working hard to put Bibles out there f with resources in them or, or as resources for everybody. Different size fonts different size Bibles, different covers, wide margin journaling Bibles, all different kinds of things uh, so to help you really find the Bible that you want and interact with it the way you want. And so this is no, um, this is no exception because these are both really big fonts. We're going to take a look at the Bibles in a minute, but you can see the difference in the Bible. One of them is personal size. One of them, I, I guess, just would be normal because it's just the print that's different, but it is a big, it's a big, big Bible. So we're gonna measure them and show them to you. They both come in, um, they both come in, in these two-piece boxes. And we're gonna compare them for you just because I thought that it would be cool. And they have very sim similar information. Now I've done a bunch of reviews uh, on the NLT filament enabled Bibles. These are both filament enabled. And I'm not gonna get too much into that. I'll give you a, a quick overview as we talk here. Let me find the ISBN, there we go. Um, so you can see the super giant print Bible. But the beauty of these filament enabled apps is it's kind of like you get a study Bible because you do. It pairs up with your phone. Okay, so you take, um, let's get the, rid of the boxes here. Y you take your phone, you download their app and you match it up with this Bible. And so when you scan a page, it will give you commentary. Commentary, there's videos to go with it, maps depending on what you're reading here. So it really is like you're getting a study Bible. So a Bible like this, even though it's small, you know, my adult hand, you can use this as an EDC, everyday carry Bible, and it's not very big, about seven and a half inches by about five. Okay, so this, this is a small Bible, but the font in it is really big. This is a, t a nice big 10 point font. Um, and if you're carrying your cell phone around, the filament, app enables it to be essentially a study Bible too. So this is the personal size. We just measured it. You saw it is not very big, not in reality, but it's really pretty. All this tooling on the, uh, on the spine here. And this is like stamped in very pretty art guilting and it's small, man. You could almost put this in my back pocket as an adult man, uh, not quite, but almost. So let's take a look at what's inside this one. Again, these will be relatively quick reviews. I wanted to uh, compare them for you because they're beautifully simple. If you're interested, I'll, I'll make sure to drop a link down in the description to, to one of their filament app reviews that really shows you about the actual filament portion of the Bible. Today, we're just highlighting the actual Bible. So in the legal information here for this personal size, it does give you all the other uh, ISBNs for the covers. And I really, really appreciate when they do that. And then you get just the basic table of contents. And that's just the, the basic 66 books of the canon. 
And at the end, there's always, uh, there's always a little bit of information at the end. We'll show you here in just a second. So I'm going to zoom in here because this Bible is kind of small. So bear with me. There we go. And you're going to get the same information in, at the front of these filament Bibles that you get in, in all of them. And I suggest that you read through uh, the, the translation philosophy or the methodology of why they translated it the way they, the way they did. Um, what type of a, of a Bible, a translation is it? You know, formal equivalent, dynamic equivalent. Read through this at least once in every translation you have. And then you just get into the, get into the text and you're looking at it. This is not a reference Bible. Um, you can get a lot of that information from the Filament app, uh, which is why they're able to really just focus on the text, making sure that it's readable for you. And it really is. It's, uh, it's laid out very nicely. Dual column, paragraph format Bible. There's not a whole lot of ghosting. Let's go find the Psalms. This is the one place that like in the poetic settings that you're going to see ghosting. But you know what? Even as I'm looking at it in the camera and in real life at the same time, the camera like exaggerates the ghosting on my own here. You, you, I don't think it would bother you at all, especially the fact that it's line matched. It really is a quality little Bible um, that's you know, has a bunch of extras because it's a filament app, but this is a really, a really good size. I, I'm, as I'm going through it here more and more, I'm loving the size of this thing. Very easily readable. Again, nice big 10 point font. Um, I believe, let's find out here that this is red letter. Yeah. Red letter. So that's basically what you're going to get here with this personal size Bible is just the Bible. Now there is the Tyndale verse finder in the back and uh, this is not like a concordance. It just is, you know, you can look up certain words and it'll give you, uh, it'll point you in the right direction of where to go. If you're dealing with, you know, you want to know more about discipline or dishonesty, you know, whatever the case may be, they have a handful of words here in the back that you can reference. But this section, I really, really like this visual overview of the Bible um, is, is just what it says that it is. It just gives you like charts and diagrams and maps of kind of what's happening throughout the whole text of scripture. And for us visual people, stuff like this really makes a difference. So let me set this to the side. I'm going to zoom back out because you're going to see here <laughs> that the difference in size here is substantial. So let's measure it for you right off the bat. It's almost a foot. It's almost a foot long. You're at like 10 and a half inches by seven and a half inches. Look, this one fits this way. You could fit two. <laughs> and it's about an inch and a half thick. So this Bible is much, much bigger. The information in it is exactly the same as the Bible we just went through, which is nice as far as uh, you get, it, it is filament enabled. Um, so you can scan it and you get all that study material, but you might even be able to tell through the video, which is always tell, look at how big that font is. This is a massive 16 point font. Um, and I really appreciate the fact that that Tyndale is doing this because there are people that struggle. I have friends that need this size that need something that's like 14, 16, uh, some older gentlemen at my church, they need big old font. And here you have it. Uh, my grandfather had to stop reading the Bible because they didn't, uh, they didn't make it big enough because his eyes just went bad. So now he has to listen to it, but maybe, um, you know, if you make a couple of Bibles that are, that have giant font like this, but it's the same as the one we just reviewed, dual column paragraph format. You get your translation notes, your footnotes here in the bottom right corner when there are some, and every page syncs up. So this is where your, your information is gonna come from. You're gonna scan this page, look at it on your phone, and it's gonna give you all kinds of information, all kinds of study notes and commentary that match up with this, the passages that are on this particular page. Now, just for kicks, we are going to open them up together. We're at Psalm 137 here. Let me lift this up just so, just a little bit. Not that it makes a huge difference in the camera, but just so you can see how big this font really is. 
and the difference in size in these two Bibles. Let's open up to Psalm 137 in this little teeny Bible. Same basic place. Look at the difference in the size of the Bibles. And the, you, can, you can tell by the font. And this is 10. This is a big font. I wish I had one of my little seven point, seven point font Bibles just close at hand here. I could really show you the difference. Um, but you can tell, I think, even in the video, the difference in the size of the font. And that's what I wanted to point out here today, that there are resources available. If you struggle and you need big old uh, fat letters to read, there are resources available for you. And Tyndale's putting some of those out. This has been a um, full reviews of the NLT filament enabled uh, giant print Bibles, the giant print personal size and the super giant print. And I wanted you guys to see them and to know that these resources are available for your use so you can stay um, interacting and reading scripture every day. Hey, there's always something that I miss. If, if there's something I forgot or a question I didn't answer it, please leave it down in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it with the information that I have. Hey, thank you guys for hanging in there with me today. I hope I've earned the privilege of your time. I want to take a second to say a special thanks to Tyndale for sending me these Bibles so that I can review them and show them to you. Unfortunately, we can't just walk into a store and look up at a bunch of Bibles. So I really do. I'm really honored and thankful to be able to take a look at these, show you guys through video what you're going to get if you buy that and help you find the Bible that you're looking for. Before we get going, don't forget we've been doing live streams every Monday at 4.15 Pacific Standard Time, so keep an eye out for those. And lately, every Thursday, uh, I, have a, I have a class that I've been teaching at church. It's based on progressive Christianity uh, and being prepared to stand for the truth and to facilitate quality conversations with those that might ask, focusing on our kids. And so those have been posting every Thursday, and I hope those have been a good resource for you, but don't forget those are out there. Uh, consider you know, clicking on that bell so you're reminded to join us during these live streams and, and watch the new videos that come out. Thank you guys so much for your support and your prayers. I really do appreciate it. And I pray for you. Before we go, be blessed and don't forget, be the Christian you claim to be.